when we were writing songs for the uh, Master of Puppets album, uh, James came up with the idea, or was talking to me about the idea of what it would be like if you were in this situation where you were basically like a, a sort of living consciousness, like a basket case <laughs> kind of situation where you were, you know, couldn't reach out and communicate with anyone around you. You had, you know, no arms, no legs, couldn't obviously see, hear, or speak, or anything like that. And um, it was just an idea we had that back then, but never really gotten any further on. So when we were writing songs for the uh, Justice album in the fall of 87, the idea came up again. And one day I was talking to uh, Cliff Bernstein, our manager, about the idea. And he suggested that, um, or said that there was a book uh, called Johnny Got His Gun, written by a guy named Dalton Trumbo way back in the, I think, actually late 30s. Um, which was about a, a guy in, in a similar situation, just sort of played against the background of World War One. Peter Mensch, our other manager, told us, which we actually didn't know, that there was a movie of the same name, Johnny Got His Gun, that was obviously based on the book and that Dalton Trumbo had directed himself. And uh, he got a, uh, a version of it. It was actually quite hard to track down, but he got a, a version of it, brought it over to us in England, and we watched it. And um, I think it became pretty apparent, sort of with you know Peter being there and the whole band and so forth, that there was an idea brewing somewhere that could be used for something very, very different and very, um, you know, or very different than what other metal bands had been doing with their videos. And um, we basically looked into it, and we got the rights to the movie and so forth. And the idea was born back in September then of last year to uh, basically try and do our first promotional video with us playing the song and using footage from this movie somehow and, and try and, and really make it work like that over the next few months and see how far we could take it. If people don't know, it's a, it's a movie from 1971 that came out that um, Dalton Trumbo, who wrote the book, directed himself. It stars uh, Jason Robards as the dad <laughs> and uh, Timothy Bottoms obviously as uh, the guy himself. I'm actually not sure if he's Johnny. <laughs> I haven't figured that one out. He doesn't really have a name obviously in the song or anything, but we presume that he's Johnny himself. So that's Timothy Bottoms, and um, it was not really, from what I understand, a big uh, over-the-board smash hit when it came out. Um, it was uh, one of these movies that I think kind of came and went by itself, um, and has enjoyed, you know, some a very strong cult following since then. But it wasn't even very easy to find on videotape. Now um, we wanted it to be as as subdued as possible, and obviously avoid the. Uh, the over, you know, us on stage, you know, 5,000 lights and kids and ramps and all that crap. So um, we basically wanted to have show us playing the song in almost like a, a sort of rehearsal kind of jamming situation, just playing to each other like we do when we rehearse and so forth, and wanted it very, very low lit, you know, very sort of just mellow kind of thing. We um, shot all the, the band footage in this warehouse in downtown L.A., which was the thing that, that took all day. These monitors were just blasting, just because, I mean, you know, we're all obviously playing as, as hard and heavy as we can. I'm hitting the drums as hard as I can and so forth, and, you know, hello, that's the phone ringing here. Hello. <laughs> yeah, bye. I'm sorry. This is the kind of stuff that happens when you shoot in a hotel room. But uh, the operators not to let anyone call it too <laughs> Okay. <laughs> no one panic. We can leave that in. Uh, we can leave that in. Fine. This is casual. There is the uh, what we call the original main version, which is the full song, obviously without edits or anything, the way it was written and recorded, um, which we obviously think is the main great version and the one that obviously brings the song across the best way, and also obviously the story and everything that goes on with the footage and the dialogue. Um, then we did a version of it, which we um, we made an edit of the song, brought the the song, cut about two minutes out of the song, and um, and 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 made a slightly shorter version of the song for if there were certain radio stations that when we play the shorter version or whatever, and we made a version of the video with that too. And be, to be totally honest with you, neither me nor any of the other guys in the band really think much of that short version, mainly because I don't think that the storyline really comes across as well in the five and a half minute short version as it does in the long proper version. But um, what we came up with an idea then a couple of weeks ago was to, um, you know, we, we just thought that it's great, you know, the idea with bringing the whole movie in and so forth, but also it just might get kind of old after a while and, and so forth, and we just wanted to see what else we could do with it. So um, 
Cliff Bernstein came up with the idea of, of what would it be like to have a version of us actually just playing the song and, and really sort of leaving the story and all that stuff just to it's a, in the original long version. And um, we talked to Michael Solomon to ask him if he could um, edit a version together of us just playing the song, just kind of jamming on it. We call it the just jamming version. <laughs> Probably 99% of, of the kids out there know that this was done our way, and the reason that we had waited so long to do it was that we just didn't feel yet that you know it was right, and this time around it just felt like it was right and it was the right idea. The only vibe we had when we were making the video was that we had an agreement with the record company, which was that uh, if we didn't like the video when it was done, we would throw it away, <laughs> and it actually wouldn't be used for anything because we were, you know, we were just approaching it, I think, quite cautiously, just wanting to make sure that it was done our way, and obviously since we'd never tried this kind of thing before, we, um, you know, really didn't know what the hell to expect. Whether people out there like it or not, that's really, I think, completely secondary because we just know that we've made something that's very, very unique and different. I would not have permitted him to live. Where am I? Father? What happened? I need help. I need help. What is democracy? What is democracy? Got something to do with young men killing each other, I believe. When it comes my turn, will you want me to go? For democracy, any man would give his only begotten son. celebrated individual to experience pain, pleasure, memory, dreams, or thought of any kind. This young man will be as unfeeling, as unthinking as the dead until the day he joins me. I don't know whether I'm alive and dreaming or dead and remembering. How can you tell what's a dream and what's real when you can't even tell when you're awake and when you're asleep? Where am I? I can't remember anything Can't tell if this is true or dream Deep down inside I feel the scream This terrible silence stops with me Now that the war is through with me I'm waking up, I cannot see That there's not much left of me Nothing is real but pain now Hold my breath as I wish for death Oh please God wake me Just went ahead and chopped off every Oh God Please make them hear me They won't listen They won't hear me If you don't wake me up I'll be like this for you man Hear me Back in the womb it's much too real that I must feel But can't look forward to reveal Look to the time when I live Head to the truth that sticks in me Just like a wartime novelty Tied to machines that make me be Cut this life off from me Hold my breath as I wish for death Oh, please, God, wake me! It's like a piece of meat that keeps on living. It won't always be like this, will it? I can't live like this! I can't! Please, no, I can't! I can't! Help me! Somebody, help me! Mother, where are you? Help me, Mother, I'm out!
like some freak in a carnival show. Ian T. Arlen, Lightness, Wonder of the 20th Century. Death has a dignity all its own. Father, I need help. I'm in terrible trouble and I need help. Don't you remember when you were little? How you and Bill Harper did uh, bring a wire between the two houses so you could telegraph to each other? You'll remember the Morse code?
head to the dude that sticks in me Just like a wartime novelty Tied to machines that make me be Cut this life off from me Hold my breath as I wish for dear Oh please God wake me thinking of doing one we have a slight concept for the next one which is like we have this really original thing that we've never seen in a video which is like shoot a pair of woman's legs walking down the street and uh, but don't tell anyone because we want to keep that idea to ourselves you and a thousand others <laughs> uh, well, no, cut. Cut. cut no more